Hi everyone. In this video, I'll explain the isometric projection of a combination of solid consisting of a cone and a cube. In this case, a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rests centrally over a cube of sides 50 mm. We have to draw the isometric projection of the combination of solid. So let us start with the uh, base of the combination of solid. Base is a uh, cube of 50 mm side. So let us draw the base square. Uh, so 50 mm line at an angle of 30 degree. Then again 50 mm at an angle of 150 degree. Then 50 mm at an angle of 210 degree. Then close this. So this will give isometric view of the base square. Now select it, move a copy of that, use the move command, move a copy of that by a step distance 50 mm. You select the reference point and move it uh, upward. Okay. So you got a copy of that. Right click and terminate the command. Now you draw the remaining edges. So this completes the isometric view of the cube. Finally we will reduce the everything into isometric scale that will give the isometric projection. Isometric view means without uh, reduction, without uh, reducing to isometric scale. So it is gives only isometric view. Finally, when you reduce to isometric scale, that gives isometric projection. Now we have to draw the uh, cone, cone of 30 mm base diameter and height 40 mm. To draw that, you have to enclose the base circle in a, a square. So you can draw the isometric projection of the square, then construct an ellipse to represent the base circle of the cone. So uh, square enclosed square is of 30 mm side. So you can draw side 30 mm at an angle of 30 degree. Then again 30 mm at an angle of 150 degree. And 30 at an angle of 210 degree then you can close this so that will give the enclosed uh, base enclosed circle enclosed in a square base now you have to construct the ellipse here take the line tool draw a diagonal here you can also draw the other diagonal then connect to the center of the this face and again from here connect to the center of the other side so this is center you have to draw an arc so you can use the arc by center point select this uh, intersection and then take the midpoint of this side okay and draw an arc so select this intersection approach from this side when you get this you can draw an arc till it meets or you get the center point and again sim uh, you can select the intersection approach from this side select the center till you meet the center of this side so you have drawn two arcs now from here you can approach from this direction Okay, uh, select the midpoint, draw this arc till it meets the end of this arc. Okay, similarly, uh, with this uh, center, uh, this point is uh, okay. You draw another arc till it meets here, the either center or the end of the arc or whatever it is. Okay, so this completes the base uh, part of the cone. Now you have to draw the height. Height of the cone is 
40 mm so from the center of the base you can uh, draw a 40 mm line 40 mm uh, the, okay so you draw a 40 mm vertical line then draw tangent to this tangent to this when you get the tangent and the uh, point on element you can stop here so when you get the tangent so now from here again you are drawing the tangent and then you can see the point on element symbol so you can stop that so that gives the cone isometric view of the cone so you can use the fit command now you can make this unit a rigid set by selecting it and using the rigid set command select rigid set and accept it so the idea of making it rigid set is i am going to connect this uh, um, this part to the center of the top face of the cube to get the center of the top face i need a center to be located so you can draw a line here from here you can draw a line and it's a diagonal and diagonal the, now the center you should uh, attach to the center of the base of the cone so you can use the uh, connect command to connect the this center of the base to the center of the top face of the cube so that will connect the cone to the center of the top face you can move this and position it at the center of the sheet okay now you have to uh, show the visible edges all visible edges which part is visible that you have to make now if you consider this arc a part of the arc is hidden this part of the arc is hidden and again this arc is hidden this part of the arc if you select only this part of the arc is hidden so you have to split that again this edge uh, cone is covering part of this uh, top face of the uh, cube so this part of the edge is uh, hidden so all these points you have to split then make the visible edges so you can use the split command select this arc select the arc then split that arc at the uh, end point of this line and similarly select this arc and set, uh, split at the end of this line so this this part of the arc is separate now you can uh, select this part of the arcs and uh, darken it similarly this edge you can split at the intersection this you have to split at the intersection now you can select the visible edges visible edges this is visible visible all visible edges you can select this part of arc and this part of arc okay this no make those edges visible so this is a uh, isometric uh, view of the combination of solid now you have to scale down this entire thing uh, by selecting it and use the uh, scale factor of 0.816 so you have to give a reference point i'll make this reference point so this is a isometric projection of the combination of solid so that's all for today. Thank you for watching.